Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another index property that is unique index. How to apply the unique index to a document field. For example, let's say that we will take a new collection db.users and I will insert one data, insert one and here I will be having a name which is of type uh, which will be having name of Leela and let's say that he will be having an email Leela at the rate Leela.com I can apply an email also so this is the name Leela and also email Leela at the rate Leela.com we have it now let's try to see that for example we know that in this collection users collection we know that all the documents in the documents email will be unique one so none of the two documents will have a same email id so that is our uh, criteria we know that the, about the criteria that email will, will be a unique one so if you want to check already existing indexes if you want to check means we can check using db.users.get indexes okay get indexes now it will take, give you the list of all indexes that are existing right now we know that the default index is the id so which is a, which is a unique one so if you have if you create a document with already existing id means it will not be created by because it will have a unique id uh, id with a unique key unique index so the same unique index we need to apply for the another document field that is nothing but an email we know that email is also an email is also an unique so how to apply that one <clears throat> so we can apply using db dot users dot create index so we'll be using create index so what is the field i want to create index email of type one ascending order now here you'll be having a second option second parameter you can send unique true okay so now unique true when you press enter if you are already having the documents and if any one of the two documents are having the same email id means the unique will not be created it will tell you that some of the documents are having duplicate email IDs. please try to rectify that one then only you can apply the unique field right now we have only one document in that users collection so that is the reason we can apply unique true so it nothing will happen it will create it now let's try to apply another user db.users.insert1 so this time i will try to create another one leela2 leela2 address leela.com so which is a unique one so leela2 address leela.com we don't have any email existing so if i create here so another user is also created without any problem if you want to check this one so find if i try to check fine so we are having two documents with email unique now let's try to create an another one the same leela to at the rate leela.com we'll try to create it or otherwise leela at the rate leela.com which we know that email already existing if i try to press enter so duplicate key error collection so here we are able to see an error that duplicate key error collection so here you are having an email duplicate which is already existing it is trying to say so we cannot insert it okay fine so it is successfully able to recognize the duplicate email id so that we can have a unique email address in our documents let's say we have a leela3 another document which he doesn't have an email okay which he doesn't have an email okay if email is existing you check for a unique thing if email is not existing means we, there is no need to check the uniqueness right so it doesn't have an email you press enter it has successfully added so this is fine <clears throat> now i want to have an another user leela for or any user he also doesn't have an unique email id okay so this is also a valid one why because if you have an email you need to check you you have to check that whether that email is unique or not if you don't have an email there is no need for us to check the uniqueness right so if you try to press enter again we are getting an error that duplicate key error collection the user doesn't have an email it's a, at all but how it is telling that it is a duplicate thing why because so for example if you try to see dot find so now here we are having an email which doesn't have an email right so this is also considered as a field so when you are trying to add an another email a, another user with no email it will tell that already user is existing with no email so this will be also considered as an unique unique, uh, unique thing so this should not happen so this is the scenario this should not happen if you have an email then only consider the uniqueness for those emails only but if the user doesn't have any doesn't have an email there is no need to consider so this is the thing we need to 
apply it so for that one so you don't have the option for that one create index name unit true we don't have an option for this one we have an another concept that is nothing but an applying the partial indexes so partial indexes means applying indexes only to a specified documents so how we can apply the about that partial uh, indexes let's try to see it in the next video so this is how normally this is how we will be applying the unique index so unique true if you apply unique true the further document field it will apply the uniqueness but the downsides of that unique they are not downsides they are a important thing you need to remember that if you apply unique true when you don't provide an email to a specific document also it will take it as a uniqueness and it will not allow another document to be inserted without any email so that is the thing you need to consider it other than that unique true will work fine uh, fine so if you want to allow those things also we need to use the partial indexes let's try to see it in the next video hope you understood about the unique unique index if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you